today, my friends, we are going to begin to learn about uh, point slope form and something that you're going to learn. So just to kind of review here, just going over what we've already learned. I just want you to take a moment and look over here. And notice to the left, we have average rate of change, right? Like say if I gave you, I want you to find the average rate of change from zero comma to two, right? That's X1, right? X1, two, X2. Now, if I want you to find the average rate of change, remember we had to do delta Y over delta X, right? Rise over run, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And we needed to do this anytime you hear the word average rate of change. Now, this was kind of algebra two. And now over here to the right, we're kind of beginning the process of getting to really hit on calculus, which is instantaneous rate of change. And instantaneous is basically when you have something like this, where you have just a slope at one point, right? You have this line here. It's not hitting two points like it was on this graph where we're going to hit these two points and find the average. We want to find the instantaneous, which is just at this point right here where it touches the graph once at this boundary. So, anytime we have this line that touches the boundary, we refer that as a tangent line. That just means our instantaneous rate of change. It's the line that gives that instantaneous rate of change. So, let's take a look over here to our first problem. It says, determine the equation to the line tangent at 1, 1. Now, at 1, 1 here, we want to find this tangent line right here. This is our instantaneous rate of change. We want to find an equation for this black line. Now, I'm going to erase it, but that's what we're trying to find, the actual equation. Before, we found the slope, and we used the slope to graph this, which is fine. But what if I want the actual equation, like this actual equation for this tangent line, the instantaneous slope line? Okay, well, we know for a fact, just, just from what we know before, we know, without a doubt, my friends, we happen to know this formula, y is equal to mx plus b, right? And we can do this, but I want to show you why uh, maybe this is not the most alternative. We want to use point-slope form. I don't know if you remember, point-slope form is uh, the formula is this, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. Oh, I noticed that's my phone. Let me just put it on silent. Okay. This is the point slope formula, and we prefer this because, well, here's the slope. We can find the instant slope, right? We have it right over here. It, this is, this is going to have our instant slope. Well, guess what? Y1 and X1, that's a point. Well, we do have a point, right? We have a point, 1, 1, right over here. So we like point slope form because we know we have the point and we have a slope. Versus Y equals MX plus B, yeah, we know we can find what the slope is going to be. But this is the problem. We're going to have to find the Y intercept. And that's just a little bit of extra work that's not needed. So I like to, in this introduction video, try to explain where this equation comes from and then in the next video, we'll go over a lot of examples. So let's start off with what we know, right? We know, uh, we know rise over run, okay? We know rise over run is our slope, right? And obviously we want to do our, we basically want instant slope, right? And instant slope is, is just this right here, which we can find. But let's just stick with this formula here. And this is how we're going to get our equation. We know delta y is your change in y. So it's y2 minus y1 all divided by, well, x2 minus x1. And that, my friends, is going to give me my slope. Okay, well, here's the thing. Do I have two points? Am I looking at two different points that I want to find this point slope format? I mean, uh, the inst <laughs> sorry, rephrase. Do we have two points? Are we trying to find the average rate of change no, no my friends we are not we're just trying to find the instant slope at just one point so why not instead of doing y2 minus y1 we'll just do y minus y1 is equal to m and this is obviously divided by x minus x1 because again we're only going to need one point we don't need another point so no reason to put y2 Okay. All right, last but not least, well, what do we do? Well, very simple. Uh, we just multiply to both sides. So let me go ahead and just rewrite this a little bit more nicer over here. I guess I'll put it right here. Uh, y minus y1 all divided by x minus x1 is equal to m. Why don't we just multiply to both sides? x minus x1. Just multiply the 
bottom portion on the denominator, x minus x1, and these are going to cancel out. And so what are we going to be left with? Well, we're left with y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. And that is our point slope formula. Okay, so why not? Let's go ahead and apply it now. So I just wanted to show you where the formula came from, but now we're actually going to just learn the big real reason of this video is we're going to learn how to actually use it and how to actually apply it uh, to this particular problem, okay? So let's go ahead and start fresh. We'll do this one example problem, and then in the rest of the videos, we'll go over maybe some of the more challenging ones. So in the meantime, let me go ahead and erase this for us here. And here we go. So notice how this problem starts off by saying, determine the equation of the line tangent so this is our line tangent this black line here and what we want to do is we want to find this particular equation well let's use our point slope formula so we will always write this up here y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 okay now let's ask ourselves do we have the points that we're interested in and my friends of course we do the point is one comma one right the x1 and y1 so let's just fill in what we have in our equation so far y minus one is equal to m x minus 1. All I'm doing is taking my x value 1 and replacing it for x1 and taking the y value of 1 and replacing it for y1. Okay. Well, if I want to find this black line here, this equation, well, what's left to find? Well, it's our slope. Well, the instant slope of that point. Ah, well, how do we find instant slope? Well, my friends, we take the derivative. So let's go ahead and write our function here. f of x is equal to x squared. If we take our derivative, we get f prime of x is equal to, using the power rule, we bring the 2 down, multiply it down here. There's like an invisible one, so let's just bring it down, 2x, subtract 1, so we get 2x to the 1, okay? Or, we don't even need to put that there, we'll just say 2x, okay? So, this is going to tell me my, the derivative is going to tell you the instant slope, right? Which is exactly what we want. So, now we plug in the x value 1 into here. So, if I plug that in, f prime of 1 is equal to 2 times 1. So, f prime of 1 is equal to 2. And this 2 is my slope. Okay? So, now I can go up here and fill in my entire equation. I guess I'll do it in this corner here. We got y minus 1 is equal to 2 x minus 1. And this, my friends, is the equation for this black line there. Now, if do you don't believe me? Well, let's just reconvert this back to our point slope form or y equals, uh, sorry, y intercept, y equals mx plus b. Let's distribute the 2 across and we get y minus 1 is equal to 2x, right? 2 times x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And now we add 1 to both sides. And we get y is equal to 2x minus 1. And look over here. Now, if we actually were to graph this accurately, right, the y-intercept is negative 1, which makes sense. It's going to cross here, go up 2 over 1. There it is right there, right? Up 2 over 1. It hits right at that, at that point. And then you go up 2 over 1, which is right there. And here, oops, here is our equation for this tangent line that we were trying to find just the actual equation here it should be straight so i apologize that it's kind of curvy okay so it's just an introduction of point slope form we'll go over some more complicated ones in the next video but just an introduction of what we're trying to find when it says equation to the line tangent we want this black line right here but we want the actual equation not just to actually draw it take care my friends